I think we're all running a race, and that race is called life. Sometimes that race feels like a sprint, and other days, I think it's like a marathon. No matter the pace, the finish line is always the same. And at that finish line is our goals, ambitions, and dreams. I remember a time when I was still in the military, I had a soldier who kept falling out of runs. She kept falling out, and then she kept making excuses about why she couldn't run. But one thing that this made me think about was, it takes words and effort in order for you to complain. So I used to tell her to just stop complaining and do more running. You see, the thing is, when you're using energy to complain, you could be using that same energy to do whatever it is that you're trying not to do. And when she stopped talking, she took off. I was so proud of her. The valuable lesson is, don't waste your breath making excuses. You see, life is like that race. And nobody is going to carry you to the finish line but yourself. Yet so many of us aren't running fast enough. Not because we can't, but because of doubt and because of excuses. Now we've all been there before, feeling tired, worn out, wanting to give up. But here's the thing. If you're tired, do something about it. Don't just sit back and complain. Sure, I get it. Running every day isn't easy. But if I'm going to run, I'd rather give everything I got into the run. We got to get all the way to the end of this road right here. And give it my all than to make excuses. This is how far we've come. But this is how far we got to go. Let's get it. But it's your life, so what are you going to do? It's time to apply yourself. It's time to do more than just say. It's time to do. Do more, say less. Because let me tell you, you can go from self-improvement to self-sabotage really quickly if you're not careful. Yes, it is hot. <laughs> Very hot. You get there by quitting on yourself. My sunscreen is dripping in my eyes. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> At the first sign of discomfort, whenever it gets a little rocky and it gets a little hard. But here's the truth. You must get uncomfortable to reach your goal sometimes. There's the finish line. So let's stop making excuses. Let's stop wasting our breaths on complaints. Let's start running our race with everything we've got. Because the only way to reach the finish line is by pushing through the pain, by embracing the discomfort and never giving up. Remember, it's not about how fast you run. It's about never stopping until you reach the end. Keep pushing forward, keep striving for greatness, and never let anything hold you back, not even yourself. And definitely not anyone else or anything else. And get out of your own head right now. You should go harder for yourself than anybody else. You should be your biggest cheerleader. It's in your own best interest to be better. Cheer for yourself. This is your life. This is your race. Now go out there and run it. Now, just because the girl I'm talking about in this video was my soldier does not mean that I was not inspired because I was pumped up and motivated after seeing how much heart she had, after she put everything she had into that sprint and getting to the finish line. It touched me. I never forgot the look on her face. She went from being really mad at me to being really happy. And I cheered her on like a cheerleader and it felt great. What's crazy about that is I bet she doesn't even know she ended up teaching me a lesson that day. And what I ended up learning was instead of using all of my energy and my breath, making excuses, instead I should use the energy for my sprint, using everything I have to push myself forward. Even though that day I know she didn't like me. <laughs> And I guess without that moment, I wouldn't be able to tell this story. I also do know if she ever hears this, she'll definitely know it was about her. But that's okay. She was truly one of the best soldiers I ever had.